let's talk about setting up RSS feeds for a specific keyword search that you've conducted previously in a library database. And instead of actually going back to that library database and searching in it regularly, you just want to aggregate those articles on that keyword search in one specific location. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the library's homepage, http colon slash slash library.sbuniv.edu and we're going to set up some RSS feeds for keyword searches. We're going to mouse over research tools and click on articles and databases and once that page loads we're actually going to select a specific library database. You can use any of the EBSCO library databases um, to set up RSS feeds and you can use other databases as well but the steps might vary slightly from the steps that we're utilizing to set up RSS feeds for an EBSCO host database. So we're going to use Academic Search Premier and we're going to do a keyword search for Facebook and we're specifically interested in how Facebook relates to marketing and so we're going to search that and then we're going to go ahead and click on alert save share and click on the little square orange RSS feed box and copy the RSS feed URL we're going to copy that and we're going to take it to a feed reader of our choice you can google uh, RSS feed readers and there are a lot of other ones out there for free this is just one that we chose to utilize for today and you're going to log on in Feedly Reader what you'll do is if you're already logged on to your Google account whether it be just your Gmail account um, or you're in using something else like Google Drive this will actually come up because you're already logged in and the app will just ask you whether or not you would like to view uh, basic information about your account and view your email address to log on to Feedly Reader and in this case we're going to accept that opportunity so we're just going to click on accept and then we'll go ahead and click on add content and paste in the RSS feed for the specific keyword search that we did and now you'll notice Facebook and marketing is coming up and when we click on it, it actually comes up with a list of the most recent articles published. Um, and it indicates that right here on the right hand side in terms of recency, in terms of hours. And so this is just one place that you would go then to find RSS feeds on a specific keyword search. And you can actually add as many as you want to here on the left hand side.